20 seconds to score. Well, he was going that flank over there. Some, basically, one on one on the keeper to start off with. We have a line starting over there. That's just going to be the passers. He's going to pass it into this line. That's going to be shooting. We're going to shoot outside the box. Pass it from there. Dribble in. And then before the edge of the shot. Nice and simple. As soon as you've had your shot, join the passing line. If you've done a pass, join the shooting line. Yeah? So. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, he's got Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> he's close, he's close. <laughs> get that finish, get that finish, come on! Um, so Joe uh, obviously got his red card in the Newtonley Willows game, uh, came through, it's three match ban. Currently um, I'm just going to be checking on Friday to see if it's league only, if it's not he'll miss the cup game as well unfortunately. Yeah he's going to miss the next three games and it's going to be unfortunate because in a couple of weeks as well Mikey's away so we've got two wingers who's going to be missing. Five, four, three, shot! Yes. 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 Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Finish! Yeah. That's a disgusting finish. Mikey! Corner, Tom, I'm fighting the ball. I had to go because he didn't. Stop talking while I'm mad, yeah. I think you met me one side, Chandler, you put on Instagram. I remember that. I'm coming back for you. Chandler, that picture. Yeah. Tom, we're good to go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Double up! Oh, yeah. 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 Recover then, recover, yeah. recover! Yeah. 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 Mikey, that should be here there, recover! Yeah. Um, Bollington, who is second in the league, we've got this weekend. They went and watched them two or three weekends ago in the cup. Um, from what they've said, the Bollington don't look particularly special in the full-back areas which is actually great for us because not just our attacking players, our full-backs as well are quite quite attacking and have a presence. I feel that's where we are strongest as a team, but still on that um, philosophy we've been focusing tonight on looking at how we can isolate a full-back either with an overload or in a 1v1 situation to get the most out of where they're weakest and where we're strongest. We started off with just some basic one-to-ones, getting the tempo up, and then we've looked at stretching the pitch into some 3v3 situations, leaving people isolated in certain channels and giving us a time limit. So it's not just that we're isolating someone, we're trying to get there quick, fast, and be clinical with our time. And from what I've seen tonight, we have been. In the, the first part of the session, we were very quick, very attacking and very clinical. So I'm, I'm impressed with that and hopefully it can follow forward to Saturday. Alright right, boys, we've got a big ass month in front of us at the moment. We'll find out how much we're full of shit and how much we've actually fucking got it going on. We're playing first, second, third, and then we've got a quarter final of a cup, which will be a team from a league above, right? I'm standing in front of you now thinking, can we win all four of and, I, and that's not bluster, that's not me trying to fucking put false confidences. That's me saying, we can win all fucking four of them. But you can't win any of them unless you fucking go out there with the intention that we are going to win it on work. We have lost big games. Disappointingly lost our biggest games. We haven't won a fucking trophy. We haven't won a semi-final yet. And we've been in them. 
That's got to fucking change this month. These next four games, I want you lot to come and say to me, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, because we've just fucking smashed them four big games. Show me that you've changed. Show yourselves and show each other that you've fucking changed. Because we lost those games, in my opinion, on heart and fight. Not on skill and ability. That look around this change room, I know you've got skill and ability. All of you. But we have been questioned and found wanting. So that's on you lot. So fucking look inside yourself and drag it out. And put it on fucking show to everyone and say, yeah, I'm the fucking man. And I've fucking got it going on. Yeah? So hey, Ronnie, what's this bet we've done? Bet? You bet. score the most goals by the end of the season. He's winning. It's not about who's winning. It's about who wins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you saw you to yourself. Oh, wait, wait. I got a birthday meal. That's what you are scoring today. You know him? No, sir. Ronaldo didn't really. That's like, yeah. Anybody? I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll in pre-season. I'm going to go in on Wednesday and Nostra Pre-season Pereira, innit? <laughs> Same Greece as well, really. In it, looking forward to it. Next four weeks, we've got first, second, third in the league. We've got a quarter final of the cup coming up. So it's a big test, it's a big month for us. And how do you feel about the players having little bets between themselves with goal scoring? I love it. I love that internal competition between the players. That's That sort of stuff, I think, uh, really adds an extra layer, both for the audience, but also for the lads. And, Obviously, I know Dom and Ronaldo have got that little thing going on. There, sh there shouldn't be any sort of contest with it whatsoever, but there will be because Ronaldo's shooting shocking. Get the bastards! Oh, 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 Keep it moving. We're still silent now. He's still silent. Yeah. Change, change, change. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Do you hear that? All he's asked about is a W. Yeah. yeah. If you don't Proper. score, it's shit. As long as we come away with three points today, boys, that's all that fucking matters. Whether you drop a sticker <laughs> or not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Manchester Enterprise Academy, where today we'll be watching Stretford Paddock face against Bonington Town. Massive, massive game in the Cheshire League Division 2. Stretford Paddock looking to go five games unbeaten in the league and six overall with a win today against Bollington but Bollington one of the top teams in the league this is going to be one hell of a game let's have a look at the starting lineup so in goal we have McKenna keeps his spot after a great performance last week against Newton the Willows the back four Omar Sinclair at right back James Oak the captain makes his uh you know way back into the starting 11 as he starts a centre back alongside Ryan Pickering and Mikey Burke Starts at left back. We then have Janeiro Samanares, Keir Adewale, and Nosa Yamu in the middle. And a front three of Ronaldo Brown, Kieran Malloy, and Tom Jones. Here's Janeiro, slots it in. Chance here for Paddock. Tom Jones gets shot away, he's in! Superb, mate! One in Stretford Paddock. What a goal by Tom Jones. What an absolute great start for Paddock. Tom got his shot away. Keeper did get a touch to it, but it was just wasn't enough. The ball's in the back of the net and Paddock had won it up. That's what you love to see. What's this uh, bet of you and Ronnie? So basically, right, he thinks he's going to outscore me this season and he wanted to put £100 bet on it, so I said, yeah. You joined later as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've scored two, he's, and he's, one of his goals got this loud, so it's 2-1 to me at the minute. And he's an attacking uh, I'm winger. A, I'm a CDM, and he's a, what, a, right, a right winger. So, you know. How do you feel being on the bench and he's out there? Do you uh, think he's going to score? You know what, it's burning a little bit, you know, what we're starting. Think he's going to score? 
You're alright, no. how are you? <laughs> hey, don't shoot! <laughs> great ball up from Ryan Pickering. Omar Sinclair in a great position here. He cuts back, plays into Ronaldo. Ronaldo going back again, but he cuts inside like he loves to do. What can he do here? He sees Nosa. Great run by Nosa. Chance here. He has a pop. Not the best shot in the world, but good move from Paddock. And he's done it again, hasn't he? Absolute Oh, what the fuck is Oatsy doing here? He's in the number nine position. Cleared away from Bollington. KO doesn't deal with it. Second time, though. He does... Oh, third ball, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie there. KO'd. He's been great all game, but he didn't win the first ball there. Made it hard for himself. McKenna's organising his wall, though. Not Kieran McKenna. He's in Ipswich. Chance here for Bollington. It is a goal. Just like that. They've given away a sloppy free kick there, Paddock. And Bollington, from nothing really, they've, they've had the odd spell of possession, but not enough really um, to kind of threaten Paddock. But that was a beautiful strike from the free kick. And they've they're, 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 you know, they leveled things up. Gaffer Halson wasn't happy with that goal. To be fair, I, I don't blame him. It was a free kick which could have easily not been given. But Tom Jones is in here. Jones again. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. It's 2 1. It just went straight from Paddock. Give away a cheap goal. They respond, and within two or three minutes, they've regained their lead. Paddock pouncing on. Bonington mistake again, and Tom Jones just doing enough to get it away from the defender. And his second touch knocks it perfectly past the keeper, just about enough pace on it. And they couldn't clear it, it's 2 1 to Swiftford Paddock. Bit scrappy, but Bollington have the ball. What can they do here? Not much. It's class there from Omar Sinclair. As he actually finds Kieran Malloy, he uses his body brilliant there. The little turn and shimmy, and he's in this dangerous position. What can Kieran do? He's in the box now, cuts back. Gets it across, drilled, and saved by the keeper. Unlucky that from Paddock, could have gone anywhere. Could have gone in, didn't. They could have spilt to uh, Paddock players the uh, feet. It hasn't. But Paddock will have a throw in here. Yeah, Bonington do well there to win it back and then fight the counter press. And here they go. They're going down this left hand side. A little one, two. And they're actually in an attacking position here, Bonington. They go back. Paddock's press is certainly making them think quick. And Nosa does well there to get a foot in. And now. Paddock are away, KO'd over to Tom Jones. Tom Jones, what can he do here? He gets out to Ronaldo Brown. The forward three in flying force here. And that is potentially a penalty. It's a penalty. Ronaldo Brown has won a penalty. That was brilliant from Paddock. It's Tom Jones on his hat-trick. It's Delilah. Tom Jones completes his hat-trick. Just before our time. Lovely right foot penalty to the keeper's left. He dies the wrong way. But what a penalty that is. And Paddock definitely been the better team in this first half. And they can go in now, hopefully. 3-1 up. Tom, it's a good thing you didn't make the bet with Tom. <laughs> I'd have to step my game up a bit more. I'll play against Tom. Well, back by Paddock again. Kieran Malloy has a pop. Oh, it's just wide. Goodness me, I got excited there. Joe, how come you're on the uh, sideline? What's that? How come you're on the sideline today? Poor attitude, really, isn't it? Nah, it's not poor attitude. I'd, um, I already lost his head challenge that was put in against my uh, vice captain, Nelsa. So, you know, the. So you did that, retaliation? Yeah. So I retaliated. Probably in the wrong way, but. Don't worry, uh, I'll have a word of him, fans, you know what I mean? That's poor behaviour. <laughs> Back up, my, back up my vice captain, so you know. <laughs> but we are where we are. The team's doing the job, so can't complain.
free kicks to Paddock there. KO'd. Just seems too good in that middle today for Bollington to deal with. He's using his body movements, his strength and his feet today beautifully. Even then when you thought, oh, all, all, all Bollington can do is foul him. And here's Janeiro, someone else with beautiful feet and body movements. And that is the halftime whistle. I'm not like sturdy, you know, jeez. Here we come, lads. Right, lads, these are actually quite a decent technical side. And a good technical side will always have opportunities against you. So I'm not going to make a sub at half time because I think the fucking lot of you, all 11 of you, are playing well. But if the fucking intensity and attitude drops, you come to fucking standing next to me. Simple as that, because I've got five lads that are absolutely gagging to get on at the moment. We've played so fucking well at times today, and we've played so fucking composed today. We need one more. Because this is a team that's been scoring fives and six and sevens. They can fucking get into it the way we could get into it if we was down in a game like this. Keep playing with the sort of composure we played in the first half. There was a couple of times I asked us to just play a little bit defensive and a little bit with our heads a little bit. And we've done it, but we've also made a little bit of a mistake. And it only takes one. If they get the next fucking goal, momentum with them, they'll fucking fancy it and they could get the next one. You have to go out there and score the next fucking goal. You have to be fucking ruthless. That doesn't mean trying crazy little shots. This game is not fucking won yet. You need to score the next goal. And I think if you score the next goal, they might crumble. But you can't fucking let them into this. You have to go into it with the same quality and intensity that you've done in the first half. Like I said, if the intensity drops off one fucking percent, you'll come and sit next to me. Yes. Boys, they've got to come out now, fire it up. Yeah. We've got to fucking match yeah. their tempo. Make sure you get a gel in and get some water in, all of you. The One Football app is unbelievable. If you want any flat football scores, news, transfer rumours, you can even watch a bit of Serie A live on there. Get the One Football app, it's amazing. And Stretford Paddock FC are actually on the app as well. If that's not a good enough reason to get the app, I don't know what is. Right, boys and girls, welcome back to the second half. Bollington getting us going here. <laughs> Straight away, we start off with a free kick to Bollington. Right, Bollington look on it here. Starting the half quick as they attack that left hand side. But Omar Sinclair deals with it. Um, Paddock just trying to deal with this ball over the top. Oatsy there with a great header. McKenna was there to sweep as well. Good communication, but yeah, so far so uh, so good from Paddock in that regard at the at the back. Like I said, conceded the goal from the free kick, but they've been really solid so far. Any ball over the top, Oatsy, Pickering, um, Sinclair and Burke and McKenna, of course, have just dealt with it really well. But, you know, free kick again to Bollington in a not-so-dangerous position, but they can certainly get a cross in here. Let's see what happens. Ball in from Bollington. Oh, and I tell you what, McKenna had to work there. He done well just to top it over uh, the bar. Uh, it's a corner to Bollington now, but that was a dangerous free kick. Certainly. Pado don't want to uh, give away anything silly here. Ball in. Headed away, but there's a chance here on the edge of the box. Bonnington to get the shot away, and I tell you what, that is a well, well, well worked strike. Again, Paddock giving away for a goal from nothing, really. Hey, right, Kieran, it's exactly what I'm on about. We've got to fucking react. Got to fucking react. Stop fucking around. Ball came in, it was headed. Basically, Paddock got a, a flick on, cleared the ball, but it fell to the feet of an attacker. On the edge of the box, he hits it goalwards very sweetly. McKenna dives, tries to get a hand to it. I think he gets fingertips onto it, but it was a great strike. The pace just took it through his hand. And it's 3-2 all of a sudden. Right, Bollington start out kind of quite quick here, and Tom Jones is coming to put pressure on. Bollington get it into the middle of the park. Great pressure from Paddock. Can they win the ball? They can. They force the error again. Great work by the three in the middle. KO, great feet. Gets into an attacking position. Gets it out to Kieran. Good touch from Kieran Malloy. Can he beat his defender? Mm, not quite. And Bonington clear their lines again. But it's positive. The press from Paddock is forcing errors at some point um, in Bonington's attack. Now, a little shout for a handball there from Bonington. And the ball's in. 
It's a goal. It's 3-3. Three, three, and no one saw that coming. I was praising Paddock for their press. But as it was going on, Bollington had counter-pressed. An attack down the left. A bit of pinball. And a looping shot over the top. No one saw that coming. And it's a goal. All of a sudden, it's 3-3 three, three here. And Stretford Paddock need to kill this Bollington momentum. Sun's gone in. It's getting a little bit nippy again. I'm glad I brought the old... Uh, the old Wenger coat. Could have bought a woolly hat though as well. Anyway, throwing over to Jones, flicks it over, and here's Kieran. This is where he's dangerous. Heads it down. Uses his pace to get around the defender. Oh, and it's a penalty shout. Surely it's a penalty. No, the ref says no. Kieran did everything right there. He got in behind the right back. And I tell you what, that was definitely a 50 50. Could have gone either way. No, sir. And Don Malloy's come on. Missed that. Who's he come on for? He's come on for Nosa. So Dom for Nosa is the substitution. Dom, been away for a couple of weeks, but you know, he joined Paddock late this season. But I'll tell you what, all he's all he's brought to the team is positives. Hopefully he can influence the game. Great ball by O. And here's Malloy. Makes it to the end. Dangerous area. Away from the keeper. Can Ronaldo get there? Yes he can. He's at the Wally! What a goal! What a goal! Oh my word! Unbelievable! Strength from Paddock! A 4 3 ahead, and what a game we have here! Unbelievable strike from KO'd! He's been almost perfect today. Some of his body movements, some of his strength, some of his feet, and look at that! A great ball! I tell you what, Oatsy there splitting the defence, and Kieran told me he was going to be fucking dangerous from in behind, and that's exactly what he was. He plays it across. Good save from the keeper, to be fair. Ronaldo did well to keep the ball alive. And it fell to the feet of Keo Dadawali. And what a finish that is into the top corner. Stretford Paddock, 4-3 up. What a game we have here. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Drink of winners. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look at the price on it, 2 for, two for 15. <laughs> Phone's getting healthy. <laughs> Tell you what, I can fucking smell plane fuel from where we are here. Near the airport, of course. I feel a bit light-headed. Anyway, Oatsy tries to deal with that, and he does well. Bollington just looking to counter. Oh, I'll tell you what here. Bollington definitely have a right to appeal there. It looked like Omar just got a foot on it before it was uh, picked up by McKenna. Potential pass back. I'm not sure, but, you know, they had the right to appeal. Anyway, Paddock in a dangerous area. Janeiro just you know, doing Ryan Giggs body movements there and he finds it into Kieran. What can Kieran do? Keeps it in on the byline, right in front of me. Oh, he cuts back beautifully. Plays it into Omar. Now, can Omar get the cross in? What about Dom? Dom thinks about it. He has a pop. Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> no one saw that coming. The power of Dom Malloy is 5-3. An absolute rocket. on. Unbelievable. She only said, I'll just hit you from when I'm there. Ronnie! Ronaldo! Ronaldo! Go! Go! Hey! Go! Is that when you said you were going to hit you? Hey! Hey, Ronnie! Ronnie! Hey, look at him. Ronnie's got to cash up now. Hey, Ronnie! Ronnie! Ronnie, cash up then! <laughs> I tell you what, if you give one of the Malloy brothers a little bit of space, there's a chance, a real high chance, that they're going to do something brilliant. And Tom has just pulled out an absolute world-class strike from the edge of the area to put Paddock 5-3 up. Ball's whipped in. Dangerous area. Need to deal with that. Paddock is not on his pinball in the box. Omar gets there eventually. That could have fallen to anyone's feet. Here's Janeiro. Picks out KO, beautifully weighted pass. Over the top for Ronaldo. Can he get there, Ronaldo Brown? Yes, he can. He uses his body nicely there. Is he past the left back? No, he's not, but Mikey's there. There. No free kick there. Anyway, here's Janeiro. 
Beautiful feed from Janeiro. Unbelievable. KO could be in here. KO's in. It's one on one. Oh, and a great save from the keeper. It's not over yet, though. He's brown. Ah, oh, Granada just let it let it bounce there. But um, I'll tell you what, Paddock with one on one there. Could have been 6 3. Bollington attacking. Game's a bit more forward, you know, here and there this time. And they have a pop. KO's head, though, is stronger than the foundations of. The the shard? Yeah, let's go with that. Brilliant header away. And Paddock in again. Ronaldo on side. What can he do here? Can he get a shot off? No, he plays it into Malloy again. Malloy! Ooh, that gets a shot off. Hey, that's me starting next week, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, you trying to help him with the bat there? Fuck this. Kerrod finds Hobson. Hobson slots it into Aftab. Aftab's onsided. Have a pop, Aftab! Aftab Jan hits it! Save from the keeper! And he's then cleared. I tell you what, that was a chance for Paddock. Absolute chance. But, Bollington have a chance now. Number 15 cuts inside, runs at Oatsy. Oh, come on, number 15, man. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. And that's the full-time whistle. Stretford Paddock have won 5-3 at home against Bollington Town. And that is an absolute massive win today. Paddock make it five wins on the bounce in the league. Six in all competitions. And Bollington second in the league. This was one of those games that early on in the season, I'll tell you what, you would have looked at some of our results and thought, gee, they'd smash Paddock. But Paddock have just absolutely turned it around, rolled on with the momentum and pulled out one hell of a performance today. Five goals, three from hat-trick hero Tom Jones and then two absolutely beautiful strikes on the edge of the box. One from Don Malloy, one from Keo Dadawali and Paddock take three points again. The Paddock train carries on, boys and girls. Hey, you doing that? Oi, oi, Ellie, Ellie. He needs to thank you for that. I know, yeah. It's the Rocky Wonders. <laughs> He's getting 50 at most. <laughs> getting 50 at most. Mo You're racking up the IOUs yeah, on Zara goals. Did. No, but as, as soon as you started you. getting, I thought I started playing strikes, so I joined. Started playing normally. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I went to uh, uh, Tommy Joey's Glasgow accent. Fucking yeah. say that. Oh, what did he say? What a head. What a head, son. What a head, son. What a head, son. Oi, Tom. Fucking big win, that. Well done. Lads, Literally, make sure asking. you go fucking celebrate that tonight because that was very well done. You fucking earned that. For if we want to fucking go flawless for this month, you've got to cut the mistakes. Yeah, it was, it was a bit sloppy. Yeah. Show us where it's got back in now, I thought. Look, lads, if we're fucking, if we're sloppy and we're getting the wins, we'll take it. But your professional pride's got to fucking demand a little bit more. Because we can do a bit more. We conceded from set pieces, which is all we fucking concede on. We've got to stop giving the ball away in those silly areas. But I'm not going to focus on the negative. The positive is, that's meant to be the second best team in the league. And they were fucking by far the third best team on this pitch today. <coughs> Well fucking done that today, lads. Yeah, right. 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 tell you what, next week, Kale's goal was a stinker. I just took the fucking win straight out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, after that hat trick, how are you feeling and the result? Just fucking great, to be honest. Um, it's against the second best team in the league as of you know league standings. Um, it was a big game, and uh, I think we came out here and proved what we can do. Yeah, just a class uh, performance overall, not just from me, but from all the lads got stuck in. Yeah. And I hear you play for a band. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, playing a band called The Parlours, uh, mainly based around Warrington, Liverpool area. Um, Parlours underscore underscore, get us on Insta. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of gigs coming up. Um, and yeah, just great music, so uh, get on us. Satisfied with the result, not happy with the performance. Or not happy with aspects of the performance. Far too sloppy. The first goal was conceded because we weren't in the right position and we didn't deal with a very straightforward ball. We ended up giving a foul. Might have been a soft foul, but we still give it away. We shouldn't be doing that in that area. We know red zone, we don't do that sort of stuff. Lads it a good free kick and it's gone in. And we're back on level pegging. Second goal, 
another set piece not dealt with and then the third goal was from our set piece where we've, we've switched off it's not acceptable for us to be conceding three goals every week and thinking that we can do anything in this league I believe next week's going to be the cup I don't think it's been officially confirmed yet but I know they were playing right now and I believe Hayside from Manchester First Division have, uh, have got through so yeah they're a team from a higher division than us if we want to be competing we've got to be better than we were today because they're going to punish their mistakes yeah, but you know it's getting it's embarrassing. Not, it's not really isn't it? <laughs> Do you mean? It is getting embarrassing in a minute. Oh, you're acting like you're five goals ahead. Just, just one brace and it's even. <laughs> but my statistics are alright. Alright, it's getting. Right, so we've got a bet, yeah. Three. No, we've got a bet who scores the most goals. Obviously, as you've seen, I've only got one because I got one got rescinded. But he thinks he's already won with 20 games left. But well, I, played, I played four games and I've scored three goals and one assist. Listen, we'll see. We'll see by the end of it. Uh, look, see by the end. Look, Listen, score, 20, score. Games, 20 games left. Real fan ownership. Real fan input. Real fan change. Real fan power. 50 plus one. We can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app. View the free content. Read about the club. That's fine. But if you want more, become a member to vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.